jumbo, smoking a gumbo. Few blocks before green, yeah, up in the jungle, cooking the bundles. It's history to making. I'm popping like fish in the grease and the bacon. My fish is Jamaican. Peace to the family, peace to the family. Greetings and good evening to everybody in the building. Ashe, Ashe. Peace, peace. You know what I mean? Greetings, welcome. Happy solstice. It's a few, you know. Um, <clears throat> we're going to have a special guest tonight. I'm bringing the good brother Ra Aku to the to the uh to the forefront to the stage it's so much going on right now you know we're gonna follow up from the conversation that we had about a week ago no yeah about maybe two weeks ago on youtube you know we had a real deep <clears throat> conversation and ever since that conversation a lot of things have occurred you know a lot of things have occurred. The sun is upgrading our DNA, says Crazy uh, K. I agree. I definitely agree. Um, I definitely agree that the sun is upgrading the DNA. And the summer's not even here yet. I was in Houston. It was 113 degrees. And it wasn't even summertime, y'all. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know if that's... If that's the standard out there, but it was a, that I don't know if I've ever been through 113 degrees before. And to be honest with you, that 113 degrees didn't really feel that bad. You know what I mean? It, it didn't feel debilitating. It didn't feel like God, like like the sun was mad at me and, and whatnot. The shit felt invigorating. Yeah, I heard about Killer Mike's album. Salute to him. So, not only did the shift take place, but the shift is taking place. Portals are opening up. Okay? That ship went down to look for the Titanic and disappeared. You got people hopping off of the side of the Grand Canyon. You know... The portals are opening up. Pop, what up? Make no mistake about it. You know, it's a lot of shit going on right now. It's a lot of shit going on right now. You know, so we're going to make some sense of it. Um, tomorrow, me and the brother Ra Aku have a class that we're starting for four weeks. Four weeks. I highly suggest that everybody who's interested in being able to look at the world through a different set of glasses or a different set of lens, through a scientific, more calculated perspective, that you become a student. The Fundamentals of Cosmo Physics is the name of the four-week class that we're going to be doing. I highly recommend it for everybody, all of my master's students. If you're not studious and you're just outside playing and whatnot, then this ain't for you. The same for you. But if you want to make sense of the shit that's going on, because it ain't going to stop going on. <laughs> it's not always, it's only going to ramp up. You know what I mean? We've shifted into dimensions. We're on, th we're on multiple timelines right now. You dig what I'm saying? So if you don't want to, if you want to walk through this world and have an understanding as to what's taking place, then yeah, the classes will be recorded they will be available for replay for educational purposes only and not commercial purposes. I have to put that out there. They will always be available to students for they will always be in your possession, but you could only watch it on Patreon. OK, you'll only be able to see it on Patreon. That's where you stream it from. Let's talk AI. What you want to talk about? You know? AI is making some major moves. Today, an article just came out where <clears throat> Bill Gates and I believe Jack Ma and some other investors 
just invested in an AI company to the tune of $1 billion, right? The first unicorn AI business in creation. It's on record, June the 20th. They just made a AI business that used machine learning, right? Listen to this. This business uses machine learning to locate and to basically look into the earth to locate rare minerals that these companies are going to need for the EV revolution, the electronic vehicle revolution. And if anybody knows how much rare earth or, or how much how much the earth is being disrupted just to get one battery. Nah. Nah. Gold and ruby. No, these are red opals. These are these are red gold, gold, red gold with red opals. That's the grill right there. You dig what I'm saying? That's the grill. You know what I mean? Before I get my teeth done, I'm gonna have to floss some red opals on the on the world real quick. You know, um, yeah, that's what I get. You know what I mean? I had to. You know what I mean? That's that's that. I'm on my sun god shit. You know what I'm talking about? I'm on my sun god. I want to attract the sun in any way possible. This sun for this summer is going to give you years back on your life if you get into that motherfucker the right way. If you get into that grass, if you get into that water, and if you get into that sun butt naked and charge up your genitals, your yoni, and your pony, you know what I'm talking about? Absor absorb all of these sun rays. There was just a Schumann resonance, right? On the 18th, the Schumann resonance on the 18th, right? It went off the Richter scales. It it it, it administered um, a reading that's never seen, that's never been seen before in the readings of the Schumann resonance, and this took place in Russia. Okay, this took place in Russia to Bombaklad. Let me see if I got some of the video on my laptop, on my desktop. I'll show it to you. Give me one second. So, shit is going up. You know what I mean? They not talking about it, but it's going down and it's going up. You know? So that's June the 7th, right? That's June the 7th, right? So it's been going down for a minute now. That's June the 7th, right? So look what happened on June the 18th, okay? Look what happened on June the 18th, right? Follow the Schumann residence. Look at his face. We are getting some DNA upgrades right now. There is no way you're not feeling this. This is the Schumann residence right now. This is the vibrational frequency of the earth. We are all vibrational frequency and we are being affected by this. Normally it is just blue. Every once in a while we will get this huge spike of a blackout and it's like we're timeline jumping. Leading up to this, I was seeing nonstop angel numbers everywhere that I looked. And now this has turned into sacred geometry. We are at a power level of 185. This is the normal line that it is at. It went right here, blacked out. You can see it spiked. They deleted the data, then it dropped back down, and then it jumped right back up. Normally it's just completely random. It'll have a spike every once in a while. I have never seen it do anything like this. It is creating these DNA looking strands. And we have been going through this since last night. So if you are feeling this, you need to go get your feet on the ground, drink a lot of water and stay hydrated because. Man, oh man. These are some of the things that they won't tell you about. 
but they'll broadcast how many people got shot over the weekend and they'll talk about all of the things that are released cortisol and fear into your system, right? And they'll propagate and push all kind of fear paradigm narratives and agendas, but they won't talk to you about the upgrade. They won't talk to you about the fact that the, the ships and whatnot are here and they're, and they're making themselves appear and whatnot. And they won't talk about the, the, the downloads that people are receiving and whatnot. They won't talk about the way that the sun is outside going crazy. That's what we're here to do. We, that's why we have to trust each other. And we got to be able to communicate with each other in a healthy manner and whatnot. So we could maintain and keep the lines of communication open. You know what I mean? At this point, you don't you don't need me to say to tell you you grown. You don't need me to tell you. Uh, that mainstream media is a crock of shit and you're not going to receive what you need from it, right? You're not going to receive what you need. Although they have pieces and nuggets and morsels and whatnot and we come and put them together and then we give us the information. So we have a master when it comes to decoding not only what's going on on the planet, on the dirt and whatnot, we have a master who can read the skies, Right? People sometimes don't realize the, uh, the, the the powerful individuals that they have in their presence, right? We look at things like artificial intelligence and all of these websites and whatnot to take the place of our master teachers. And that's not how we do it over here. You feel me? We don't do it like that over here. You know what I mean? We, we, we bring our master teachers to the forefront and we put them in the light and whatnot, and we help them showcase their talents and their skills to the world. So, you know, I'm carrying on tradition. I'm going to bring my brother Ra Aku on the stage so he could talk that talk. You feel me? And he could line up some things that are going on and make some sense of some things because we are in some very, very interesting times. Hip hop is 50 years old. If you look at the landscape of hip hop right now and take a snapshot of it, meaning that if you screenshot Vlad TV or World Star Hip Hop, right, or The Shade Room or any of the places that people go for hip hop news, the shit looks like um, it looks like at 50 years old, hip hop has dementia. It got worms. It's in a sick body. You know, and it's, it's in a sick body. You feel me? Hip hop at 50, based off of what's coming out this year and based off of what we're hearing and what we're seeing. Uh, yeah, I think Boozy got bail. He got, he, yeah, free the, free the guy. Free Boozy. Boozy coming home. But um, Tack, uh, uh, Tack Stone got 35 years today. I saw another rapper get 35 years today. Uh, Casanova, he's about to get some football numbers. You know, I'm just saying, it looks like that the, 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 the narrative of the streets, the narrative of the streets, this, this, this quote unquote, uh, this dark cloud that has been over hip hop is, in, is, is coming into his 50th, is 50th year. And it seems like the cloud is slowly beginning to dissipate. You know what I mean? That spell is beginning to break. You feel me? Because they can't sell our people that quote-unquote defunct dream about them being drug dealers, hustlers, killers, and villains and being able to live a prosperous life or to break generational curses or to basically pass down, you know, um, their, 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 their wealth to their children and their prodigy. You're not going to do that um, taking penitentiary chances every fucking day for peanuts. You're not going to do that. That shit is dead. Okay? That New Jack swing or that New Jack City mentality, that, that, that you know, Biggie's dream and whatnot, the, the, the shiny suit bad boy era, it has to come to an end. Okay? It has to kneel. That shit has to evolve into something or it just has to fucking disappear because the means don't justify the ends. 
Shout out to Killer Mike. I heard he put out, I did not, I'm, I'm going to go on record saying that I didn't hear the whole album. I heard a few cuts. And what I heard, I was impressed. Shout out to Killer Mike. Okay, for putting out some good music. And I hope that he, his shit hits number one and we get one number one album on the 50th year of hip hop. Okay. Yeah, death to the death culture. Um, the shit had its run. You know, mushrooms grow out of feces, right? Mushrooms grow out of feces. The fertilization has taken place. Kudos to the dark side of hip hop. Kudos to the underworld. You know, we pop in the menta. You know, salute to the underworld. Salute to the dark shit. We with all of that. You know what I mean? It, you know, it, it, you know, did you die? But after a while, something has to grow out of all of that carnage, out of all of that, quote unquote, all of, all of that blood sacrifices that have been taking place. Something magnificent has to be born out of that. So I'm patiently just waiting to see, you know, what the alchemists are alchemizing. Ra, right, cool. If you in the building, send me a request so I could pull you on stage and whatnot so we could chop it up. You know what I mean? Russell Simmons, right? The face of hip hop at 50, right? Got publicly outed and embarrassed, right? His quote unquote bronze statue, right? Was toppled by his children, his progeny and his baby mama who said that she was with him when she was in high school at 16. She said it out of her mouth, right? You know when shit goes wrong, they're going to throw you under the bus. Russell? Russell is on the run for some shit that Russell did, right? That Russell don't want to, quote unquote, you know, he don't want to face that demon. So the face of hip hop, the man with the gold ceilings and whatnot, the man who sold out hip hop. If you want to keep it 1000, the man who sold out hip hop. Russell Simmons. They sent the shit uh, in the direction that it's in right now. He's the main one. So you see how his karma has affected him. All right. Peace to the God. Peace, God. The legend. What's good with you, my brother? I'm, um, I'm having a Jupiter on the third cusp today. So... Our out of the nowhere conversation led me down a rabbit hole since we since we spoke earlier today. Oh, you've been you've been going through the it's been, yeah. It's only been it's only been like less than an hour, but the, uh, it made me. I went to go look up the source of the Schumann resonance. You know, and I know this is a whole new show, a whole new presentation, but this is you 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 really blew my mind. Tap it into that because no, this is a continuation of the of the conversation that we had that already went viral on YouTube. Okay. So this is the follow up. You know what I mean? This is the epilogue. Well, you know, so let's get you know, to I it. I have some astrological perspective to 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 put out there for people to consider because the whole science of astrology for the last hundred years has been under scientific debate. Yes, but, but but you have uh, scientists and engineers like Maurice Cotterell and Percy Seymour, the black man scientist, who these people have been disproving all of the mysticism that has been attached to it and proving all of the mathematical uh, uh, concurrences that uh, that occur between this. The, the entire environment, universe around us, and our very own beings. Right. Okay, okay. So you know, patterns there reflect patterns here, basically, right? Basically. So the Schumann resonance, they 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 theorize that uh, the lightning that charges in this atmosphere, in our in our atmosphere, in our ionosphere, that in it, our ionosphere, that, right? That it is channeled, right? And right. And, and and dispersed or amplified by our atmosphere and i said that's very likely because when i was seven and six seven years old we used to go to the boys club 
in Binghamton, New York. And my brother would get a penny and, and tap the side of the wall and communicate with me all the way across the pool when we were underwater. <laughs> and I, you see what I'm saying? Right. You can actually hear the penny. Get, right. In an Olympic size pool. Right. Like you can hear it like it's in your fucking ear, like at the airport. Right. Okay. Right, right, right. So if the if, if if gas is just a lighter form of liquid, right? Because it, it, right, if you understand that, right, the, the denser the, the gas, the more liquid right. side, but basically, right. right. Okay. So when we move through the air, fish move through water. You know, to the, to the fish, the air is water. I mean, the water is air. You know, it's like mm -hmm. flying through the air to the birds and that. Right. You see what I'm saying? So at, at any rate, then it's very likely that the charge from a lightning bolt, goddamn, is 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 likely to charge everything that would receive it. Right. right. For as far out, like if you drop a bomb, the way the radius spreads. It spreads. Okay? Right. 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 Ground one, ground two, ground three, ground four, ground zero, like this here. That 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 we already know that such wave patterns in the Electromagnetic sphere by Percy Seymour to improve it, and Robert Cotterell repeated the test that planetary electromagnetisms have a play on the electromagnetic sphere of the Earth. And if the electromagnetic sphere of the Earth takes part in regulating and dispersing and absorbing and, you know, making good a, a quite a lethal thing, <laughs> then there's astrological input to the planet around us with this regard. Right. Okay. Which is electricity, which is lightning, which is planetary electromagnetism. You, you see what I'm saying? That one planet points to all that. So that's where I got when I said, man, let me go in here and discuss with the brother what I found concerning what we were talking about. Because the Vedas, the Vedic science, Sanatana Dharma, Jyotishi, and the yoga and all of that have already found these uh, the rates of breath that resonate. Yeah, that resonate with the with that resonate with the human nature and and the earth. Right. Okay. And, and the entire solar system, like breathing so many breaths per minute. Nine breaths per minute gives you so many breaths per hour, which raises your frequency to a specific level. You see, breathing this many breaths per minute is going to raise your frequency to exactly this level. Like they have volume control on the ship. Right. Well, this is a part of the reason why the, the astrology is all pertinent. No, most definitely. So, uh, Wow, wow, people are saying that astrology is a, is a mystic spiritual art form. They have no clue the scientific basis and the, and the fact that science actually evolved out of this science, period. You know, but mm. I, don't, I don't even want to make it all that. Let me just go back to what's going on. We, when we talked about the eclipse, yeah. I, I talked about Mars's place in Cancer and the eclipse. And I said to people that, you, you know, we should see houses burning down or fires. Right. Because the last time, back in 2012, when, when Mars was in Cancer and we had an eclipse, it was all those fires in L.A. Right. And all those, um, the Cali fires. Right. Those Cali right. fires. So there goes the astrological indicator, Mars and Cancer. Every time we see that, we're going to see some national fires. Right. Okay. It wasn't just the Cali fires. Right after that, the Amazon. The Amazon so, got lit up. This program of clearing, they land clearing, fucking with the mm -hmm. ecosystem, mm -hmm. is, In a is easily observable when we know that Mars is going to be in Cancer as well. You see? Right. Now, going back to the uh, uh, um, what I noticed about Uranus is one day, I met a guy named Theodore White. He's a he does the astrology of weather. Okay. So I, you know, you know, I'm all interested in shit like that, right? Right. So and I had never heard of it nor seen it before. Right, right. So I met this guy. Astrology of weather. That's yeah. different. 
Yeah, I said, how are you predicting the weather with astrology, God? Like, I understand how it applies to it. And I, I, was, I wasn't skeptical as to the fact that it could be done. I was totally not knowing what tools from the astrological canon were being used to make such a determination. Right. And I wanted him to discuss that. Right. And he did. He did. On, on my show back in 2012, uh, right? Too bad. Oh, that's wiped out now. Sorry, guys. Well, you know, your blog talk? Yeah, my blog talk. Huh? Right? I brought him huh? on my blog talk to explain that shit. Right. So what I remember of it was that he's watched, it's, the, it's regulated by the sun and the moon. And the planets have their counsel as to how the sun and the moon are going to act. Either it's going to be hot or it's going to be wet. You know, it's going to be water, shit's going to fall from the sky. It needs to be liquid, so that's the moon. And if it's going to be hot, then that's the sun, so it's going to be evaporating, right? That right. all of the in-betweens are determined by the planets. He said, and pay attention to how when the moon runs over Uranus or is approaching Uranus, because this is where we see our worst thunderstorm. And Oranos is the measure for electricity anywhere, anywhere. in the universe. Right, right. You see, you see what I'm saying? Fact. Whether it's technology. This is why I represent technology, because technology is all dependent on electricity. You see what I'm saying? People don't even see how fragile this technological matrix that we are casting upon the next age of humanity globally is fragile as fuck, man. Yeah. One lightning storm of Put your power out. We'll, we'll, we'll shut the whole world shut down. Shut the whole shit the down. Whole, or flood. World. Right. Exposure to water is also um, kryptonite to it. But uh, yeah, an electrical storm would will, will, will a, a solar storm would disrupt the grid. Annihilate. Get that shit out. Yeah. Annihilate. See, they got to learn how to deal with these cycles because they are a natural part of Earth's motion through the universe, man. You can't ignore that. And see, people that are ignorant of that factor, of that level of reality, right. astrologers say, you're not in control, nigga. You just did. And when they be like, yeah, I can control because I can grab this can and squeeze it. You see, I have control. Like, really, nigga? Do you, do you <laughs> stop the Earth, stop a meteor from smashing this motherfucker? Right. There's a tsunami going to happen in, in, in <laughs> Australia tomorrow. I want you to be on the boat that's on that water when you control it, right. nigga. You know, right. there's, there's shit that you don't have control of here that actually dictates what you will have control of here. In other words, we don't control all the water on Earth, but we right. can channel in the water, God, and we can have running water for everybody, and nobody got to thirst to death. You understand what I'm saying? Right. Now, we still ain't got control over the fucking oceans, God. Right. But we can pull in enough water out of these rivers to survive. To survive, okay? right. So you did, did, this is a zone, Earth, y'all, reality, the third dimension, is a zone where you gotta follow, you gotta play by the rules, you dig? And if you learn the rules, then you can learn how to use them. Right, right. All right, and I'm, that would be. I wanna talk you out, I wanna no. talk you out. Go no, I'm, I'm just adding up. on. Let me speak. Yeah. Yeah, that would be the hermetic principles, uh, the laws, the universal laws as well. You can't escape that. I don't care how I don't care how long of a syllable you got in your Facebook name, or <laughs> how long, how long, how how many chickens, how many chickens fell underneath your wrath and whatnot, or how long your ceremony was. It doesn't take away from the fact that the laws of polarity still exists the law of correspondence the law of genders you know these things will always be ingrained into the program but please continue wait a minute so did it what, what drove me down the rabbit hole was and i realized i didn't have enough time to get it is because i don't do calculus okay and they show how the the, the calculus mathematical formula that they use to break down the Schumann residence. Right. But my whiz does calculus. Right. So I was able to call her into this situation. She over there, say hello. Right. Okay. <laughs> she won't be seen, but I just had to put her in there. So I said to her, I don't know how to do calculus, so break this down for me real quick. Right. right? And she right. and she was like, really nigga? 
Like you got somebody. <laughs> You think you could be, you can learn calculus in five minutes? I'm right. like, no, but you can break it down for me so at least I understand what is being applied here. Right. So she did. She explained the components of the of the problem to me. I right. still haven't yet learned to solve it, but I will. She'll be teaching me how to solve it. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, I have a way that can teach me something, God. That, I mean, that, that's godly you, right there. You, you know, like some niggas be like, they don't want a whiz that has a mind of their own. I'm we getting ready to be a a a, a, a tech engineer, man. That's Software right. engineer. I know nothing of that shit, and I could use a whole lot of software right now. That's right. So I need that in my life. Right? I need this in my life right there. That's yeah. right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, I know. That's how you. That's that's how the ciphers complete right there. Man, please. Exactly. Now, we got a whole bunch of things we don't need from the little ones that actually complete the cipher, right? Right. So we got to teach them how to close it out of the cipher so we can keep that cipher clean, out, you know? And that is hell on a man, man. Being in hell, okay? Man. But my, my, my theory right. is when the mother and the father lock in, right? When the physics and the mathematics come together, the young gods, right? That's when their purpose is is revealed and whatnot. So it's all in alignment. Just keep doing what you're doing in that aspect. Keep once you build that bridge, you'll be surprised which one of your seeds will cross over that bridge. The bridge isn't built yet, though. Well, the seeds and the and the blueprints to that shit is in our DNA. It's in the DNA. It's, it's already written. So yeah, it's, it's already, already coded. You know, one day we was doing a speech down. Uh, in Georgia, me, you, Red Pill, A. A. Rashid, you know, you smart ass Scorpio, sarcastic ass nigga. That's right. You know, Blue, Blue Pill turned to me and said, "Cut, rock, right? cause it ain't written in stone, right?" And I didn't want to blow up the spot, but I got a response to that shit years <laughs> later. Today. Okay, so the response is, "No, it's not written in stone, y'all. It's written in the stars, and it's written in your fucking DNA." That's okay? right. And it's written in the Fibonacci sequence mm. from, the, from, the, from the microcosm out into the macrocosm and, and, and back. Absolutely. That's right. Now, there you go. No, it's not written in stone. Okay? It's written in, well, the stone is your DNA. Yeah, that's right. right. The stone. And, and, and it is the universe, the stone wall of the universe. That's right. If you want to call, yeah. In that case, it is written in stone. You know, and and but really, just, really, really, the question is, where is it not written? Right. It's written please, everywhere. Please answer where it's not written. Yeah. So because metaphysically speaking, cosmically speaking, the pattern, mathematical patterns and behaviors of, and cyclic manifestation of these patterns happen from the microscopic to the galactic scale. And there is no place in between, no frequency, no plateau, no peak or low that we could find in existence where that pattern isn't consistent. Mm -hmm. And it is the consistency of that pattern that allows us to experience reality in a static form. Thus, it is not going from hot to cold, cold to hot, wet to dry, that it, that it happens in a gradual, sequential manner, right. okay? Right. Everything behaves in it. Everything behaves in a cyclic pattern. So to deny the capacity for predictability is foolish. Right. When you know everything manifests itself in pattern. In and if you can find right. a pattern, then you can find the potential probability, the rate of potential probability. Right. And, be, and being able to find the rate of potential probability, you have to properly apply the principles to that cyclic manifestation to create a, a pattern. And from that pattern, predictions can be made and proper accurate prediction is nothing other than prophecy. And this is the difference between a man and an animal. Mm. You can, a man can be a prophet. Mm. Right. He can know shit. Where right. you, you take a bum off the street and put a crown on this nigga's head. You put a scepter in his hand and a cape, you know, a bearskin cape on it and set his ass on the golden throne and tell him, look, man, all that drinking got to stop. 
you got to run this country. This shit going. He will make it concerted effort. You he know? will. He will. But let's do that to a dog or an ape. Right. And that nigga ain't going to stop being a monkey for one fucking second, dog. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you could do all that to this gorilla, and then five minutes later, he is shitting on the throne, beating your ass with a box of bananas you got. Right, right. Okay, right. So the man, men, people, we have the our power is to change our environment and our circumstances. Our willpower. So this is where we are applied the opportunity to exercise our will, man, on yeah. the on the things that we have been given to exercise our will with. Okay. And, and, and by the way, everybody, self is the first thing on that list to be developed when you get here if you didn't know, okay? <laughs> like, I don't even know what to say outside of that. Right. I ain't got no more to add to it than that. <laughs> <laughs> self, self is the first fucking thing on that list, and it's the last and thing. It's, it's, the only the thing last. it's the only thing that shows up in fraction, fraction form on top of everything that you need to learn here. See, you mm. got self-motivation, self-preservation, self you self blah, 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 how self-coordinates, coordinate, how self-interacts, how self finds peace, how self finds happiness, how self, all these little things that we are given to exercise, self is in a fraction form over top of all of it. That's why it is of no coincidence that the name of our four-week class, it is called Know Thyself, right? Yeah. It is called Knowledge of Self, right? Fundamentals of Cosmophysics, Knowledge of Self, the Fundamentals of Cosmophysics. And somebody was asking, what tier on Patreon do you enter for the four-week class? That would be the Citrine membership, Citrine which is my the scorpio birthstone and me and this good brother right here are both scorpio kings and whatnot um scorpio kings with an a and um you know that's what we do so one of our passions and what we're enthusiastic about in this on this in this uh walk of life that we have as scorpios is about the self the self-discovery you know all of the many facets of self you know can you briefly give uh, the the future students and the students that are in the audience a brief rundown about how we'll use this four weeks together to explore self? Yeah. Normally, see, I have an academy of my own already. Everybody knows that. Yeah. I run predictive astrology. Okay. Normally, you get into my academy, and I begin with an orientation. Okay. Because everybody that has been studying astrology doesn't really see its roots and it's rooted in the conceptualization of time and you got people out here saying that time don't exist right so so we need to get into the science of time that's right where that is not actually required to interpret astrological signs that aspect of it is absolutely required in order to understand how to measure these motions right and how to convert them into your real life is because you convert them to the time that they are going to appear in your life at what age you will be how many revolutions you will be when this pattern starts to emerge okay right. so people get into cosmophysics without a clue of what it actually entails so what i'm going to do with your with your course is an introductory to those things so they will have a clue right. God, what what studying astrology is. We can't cram cosmophysics into a four-week thing, but the orientation that I normally give my students once they once they enroll, I can easily impart to everyone. Right. You see, I can impart that to everyone without damaging my academy, my curriculum, and that. You understand? <laughs> so that's what the four month and to address questions i love you skeptical motherfuckers too okay right. i love beating y'all niggas up okay so so come on in with your questions you think you're tough you're not i'm gonna break you down right okay i'm gonna show you how this shit is is 100 science mathematics and geometry mm. Yeah, break through all of the all, all so of that falsehoods. There, there's no misunderstanding as to the mechanics of this reality right here. 
Right. Okay. That's what, and and that's what you're gonna get a full understanding of. And right. you know, you 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 gonna get in where you come in at. <laughs> you dig? Right. You gonna get you gonna get placed according to where you coming in. If you don't understand, you know this, then we gonna cover that. We gonna cover what is not generally understood, basically, and what should be generally it should be general knowledge, but it's not. Okay. That's what right. we gonna cover. Like you have no clue how the the atmosphere's electromagnetic charge is responsible from for the day-to-day -day cycle of temperature. Thus, right. it is always cooler in the morning and in the night when it, when the sun goes down at those equilibrium points. That it is always the coldest while the sun part of the day while the sun is in the first house. Right. Okay. So if you understand that geometry, that the sun is doing nothing but moving around a circle from a from a, a geocentric perspective, you can apply that directly to the sacred geometry, and and there from that emerges astrology, Duke. And the sacred geometry emerges from the patterns of numbers that emerge out of geom geometric measure. Right. For example, any number you mark you any number that you three six zero is going to equal nine and any number you multiply that by is going to come out to nine now so you can multiply 360 by your phone number and then take all those numbers and add them all up and they all add up to nine you see well, this is why hindu astrology is based on three six and nines is why western astrology has this trying sex out nobile aspect the three six nine you see, and all of this geometry is what resonances and cycles are being used. Uh, 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 the geometry is what is being used to measure these cycles. Mm. And if you're not measuring the cycle, you don't see the frequency, you don't see the potential probability associated with that, and you're not able to use this cycle metaphysically, man, because that's really all we're doing. Right. You, when you wake up and say, I'm going to move with the sun today, right. you're not just moving in the light. You're moving with all the electromagnetism that the sun is directly exposing to everything in his fucking kingdom. Mm. You see what I'm saying? And that right. electromagnetism is a 432 uh, uh, ohm hertz. Mm. And it concurs with 432 uh, uh, um, year cycles. And for example, Jupiter. Okay, Jupiter is a 12 year cycle. Okay, well, 12 times 360, because 360 degrees is a year, is the solar cycle. Right. So there are 12 solar cycles. If you if you look at that, 12 times 360 is 4,320. That's 432, which is the megahertz that they took out of regular music because human frequency, it resonates with the human frequency, and it resonates with the with the with the keyword um, um. From the you 11 11 meditation. Right, right. right. So, they, you know, these are uh, this geometry, as is presented in astrology, is the same sacred geometry that it has been applied in all of the monuments. And, and it's more sacred geometry than it is astronomy. Right. But it, it is the sacred geometry of the planets that makes astrology. So, the sacred geometry of. Um, you know, meditation and all that rest in those different types of breath that they teach you in Sanatana Dharma. That right. Ra'unika and men broke down in Metunetta. Right. In the Metunetta. Yeah, he right. showed the, uh, in the Metunetta, he showed the, uh, uh, the constant, the geomet. he showed the rates of breath corresponding to, and I saw how they correspond to geometric constants. Right. Through sacred geometry. So, you know, the ancients have been in tune with these frequencies since as far back as we can go. And you have to imagine that in the age of Aquarius, we reach, te we reach technological and artificial heights. That in other ages, we reach organic, natural, technological heights. Right. Okay? So we had a more organic technology, but we, you know, they demonstrate now. You saw that old YouTube clip of a Buddhist monk out there with the horns. 
over and being able to move a stone, right, a gigantic right, stone. Right, right. Right? Then that right there is what they found in one of their secret little texts. And they decided to reenact that experiment that they were doing on a very small scale where whoever put that secret in those scrolls was doing with it. Right. In other words, the niggas who wrote that shit was building cities like this. Oh, see, and men back then understood the uh, principle of unity. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we were able in unified form to do things that modern man is like still with all his technology, with all his satellite image, you can't figure the fuck out how we did, man. We did it with unity, God. Right, because think about it. Man comes together, right, for war these days, like in the army and shit like that, or for sports to see men, other men, you know, they'll, they'll put 80,000 out for a goddamn football game. No, like, you don't it, know the crazy. Let me strip this in there. War is Mars, and, and Mars is singularity or unity. So, and competition. So, you're just showing how our correlation works according to cosmic law. Right? That's a fact. However, I would love to see that same 80,000 and that same 100,000 come together and move some fucking rocks with their mind. Yeah, well, you got to get people to believe nowadays that it's actually financially worth it. Okay. I know, I know. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm working on that. We wasn't worried about capitalism. We was, we was on. We was on we a was whole on different time. Activity. Yeah. Right. We wasn't now paying. We, we in our lower cell, tangible. Uh, right. Phil, peace to the God, Phil. Okay. okay. Uh, oh, I mean, I mean, I thought that was part for a second party. Right, okay. right. See, you know, you guys can catch a nigga up, even though I know y'all are part. You know, uh -huh. that just saw Phil automatically assume it was Paul, right? But anyway, and so man back then realized the benefit mm -hmm. of unity. Today, people don't see the benefits in that aspect of life. They're looking at financial resources as right. the ultimate benefit. So first thing people got to get together is their mind state while still being able to survive in an environment that requires you to have fiat. It requires you to have money. Right. You can, you know, and it's foolish to think you're going to change the system like that. You're not going to, man. The whole world is economic, so we're going to have to get with it. That's the order of the day. And with the, the excellence of humanity is being able to create a, a, a solution for all your problems. Okay? This is the most excellent human being, the one who most adequately solves all his problems. That's right. It determines the, the best of humans. That's right. Okay? So it's not religion, but this is the shit that religion is made out of. Mm -hmm. This is the shit religion is made out of. So once I realized that that Oranos, um it is true, I, I saw the moon one day applying to Oranos. Right. And and one of my comrades was asking me, so that he really tell me that that moon right there is being used to determine what I'm going to do tomorrow or within the next hour. I said, yeah, it doesn't determine what's going to be, it gives indication of what is, as to what has already been determined, dude. Right. So, uh, you see, it doesn't determine. I see, you have to understand, it just gives us a means by which to measure what's been determined already. Already. Right. So, I said, so for example, I knew that this was, a, this was back in 2010, Aronis was in Aries, and I knew that the moon was in Aries. So, I said, I said, you see all these clouds formulating right now? Notice how they, they appear to be moving with that moon. I said, you think that they're not? They are. That moon is drawing up all the mist in our environment. And it's in its geometric perspective in our environment right now. That if when it rains at night, we're going to have a lot of thunderclaps. Mm -hmm. And he's like, and how do you know that? I said, because I also know that the planet Uranus, the god of thunder, is in Aries right now. You see, and Aries is a ruckus sign when you talk about nature. You can right. talk about a ruckus, okay? A forest fire or an animal on the attack. Right. You know, man at war. So you're talking about a ruckus energy no matter what the fuck. You see what I'm saying? Right. I said, so if it rains, and I said, I don't know if it's going to rain tonight. That's what I told her. I said, but if it does, we're going to have some serious things. Man, it wasn't even four hours. Man, the gods is up there bowling. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you can hear that. 
you know? And he was like, man, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, you know, I said, look, dude, dude, I said the worst storms occur when the moon conjuncts the Ronald's. I learned that from my brother Theodore White. So, you know, the, uh, I said at that point, I removed the cap off of the astrology. You know, I had a gauge. I had a limit as to what I believed it could be applied to or what it believed it couldn't be applied to. At that point, I was like, it can be applied to everything. Fuck y'all. Right, right. Yeah, this is my new religion. Y'all niggas got me fucked up because there's nothing else is consistent as this. It's you see? consistent. So that, that when I said nothing else, I meant at, at, at the at the level, see, we can measure, we can pick one planet in your birth chart and follow that motherfucker from the day you were born and see your actual development with the measure of that one planet. And that planet concurs with the part of your nature that produces the quality we're developing here. Mm. Okay? You see? This is what people don't understand. It's to personify these gods into, you, you dig, Mars energy at its base level. It's anger and frustration, irritation, and you see? But at its, at its developed level, it is what you use to execute your physical, to, to, to tell your finger to touch your nose to touch your ear with you. You see, it's that same energy that you have to develop your, your annoyances on, huh? you dig, to be able to control your anger. You see what I'm saying now? Right. That same energy is what you use to execute force on any plane of existence. So the natural motion of Mars in our solar system concurs with the rate of human development with that regard. Right. So there goes how you are the universe, man. Metaphysically, mm. you see. So Schumann resonance is gonna have its effect because the, your birth chart is a the picture of your electromagnetic fields and exactly where they were when you were born. You were born, right? Ge geometrically. Now that means that these fields are charged throughout the entirety of your life by where they were because this is what makes you physically. Right. And I prove that year after year on your show. On Reading niggas' scars, telling them where they had scars on their body. Super fast. Now I do it in reverse. I just ask a nigga what his scars, and I start reading them. Super, you see? Super but fast. It actually came from a knowledge of what geometry in the chart puts on the body and, and where there's going to be. What did this say? Oh, and the uh, it shows where your sensitivities are biometrically, cosmometrically, cosmobiometrically. Okay, that's what the birth chart is for. This is why we're able to tell you that, uh, you know, once you develop a skill with the craft, where your, where your wounds are, where your downfalls are, where your right. opportunities are, where your big windows, success windows are. Because success energy was allotted to your ass at birth. It was at a certain place in the sky. And right. that, that success energy is what I use whenever I randomly call you, your brother, hey, hey, anybody else I fuck with. And be like, look, nigga, you're gonna be in the Jupiter in a couple of days. If you fuck that up, that's on you. And I ain't gonna lie, y'all. The God delivers the when I when I see that phone ringing, when I see the bat the bat phone ringing, and I see his name pop up, I already know what it was about. I know what it's gonna be. He gonna tell me that I got a date coming up, and make sure that I wear all white and get ready because the blessings is coming, and they always come. We was doing this all the way back in 2011. Yeah, it Fast. took a few years, too, to convince this nigga, y'all, okay? I'm hard-headed. Yeah, well, that's what Scorpio is, uh, uh, and, and that is our safety gauge. So, you know, to stop being hard-headed is stupid for any fixed sign. That's uh, Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, and Leo. You're hard-headed by nature. You're supposed to be hard-headed. You're supposed to learn how to be a little bit more appropriate with it, but you're supposed to be hard-headed from the jump, so... To clinging to it is nothing wrong. There's nothing against your own nature with that. Right, now, right. To the contrary, mutable signs are supposed to be flexible. They're supposed to be open. And these are the niggas that's always running around trying to tell you to be open to every motherfucking thing. Okay? Right. You, see, yeah. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Super yeah. fact. Somebody um, was asking, could we get into the logistics of the course, the timing, the day of the week, and the length of the class? Um, the day of the week that we'll do it is on uh, communication on Mercury on Wednesdays. The timing that we're going to be doing it is 4.44 Eastern, 4.44 p.m. Eastern time. The length 
depth of the class will be determined by the lessons that are being taught. Minimum one hour, you know, and they'll be all the classes will be recorded and they'll be available for replay because you know Raku he goes in. So you might not get everything in one sitting, and that's good. That well, I means promise that, you, you ain't going to get everything in one yeah, sitting, man. You he ain't going to get everything promises. in the four sittings that we're doing. But, and for me to say that you would would be straight fraud, right. okay? Number one, it's stupid to think you can get it in four sittings, okay? Right. But you have the opportunity to get four sittings. So get them while you can't get them while they hot. Get them while I'm in the mood. Because when I retire, you niggas are going to be subject to my students. And you think I'm bad. <laughs> right. You think come back. I got so and you want and a lot of people, you know, you have a general question as to how metaphysics is an actual science as to as opposed to how it, it is a, a belief system. Like people think it's a cultivational system of philosophy. A cultivational system of philosophy has emerged from it, but but astrology itself is a pure 100% science. It's the science of time. Right. And, the, and, and you have to understand that that is geometric. And the geometry is used to make the determination as to the whens of things. Mm. Because it's every 90 degrees, we have a different season. So that is purely geometric. This is why the circle with the cross in it, the circle and the compass, the, 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 the compass and the square and all that symbolism, you find it hieroglyphically back to the very beginning. Right. It's all about quartering off the, and pairing off the circle. There was the seasons. There were the four seasons of the day, the four seasons of the week, the four seasons of the month. But yes, to answer somebody's question as to the day, time, and week, they want a specific calendrics on when the date was going to be. I, knew, I totally misunderstood that question. And, and because that's exactly what I intended on explaining the science of time right. and, the ge and the geometry behind it. And, and that geometry and timing is, is the basis of astro astrological study. So if you come to this class, you're going to get the absolute, you don't get my orientation class, basically. Right. I mean, that's what they're going to need anyway. You did? You, in order to understand predictive method, you're going to have to understand cyclic geometry. If you can demonstrate the, 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 the you can do the geometry in one sitting, right. which, I doubt, which I doubt you're going to be able to get that because the geometry is based on celestial motion, planetary motion. See, and if you don't, if you're not in the science of determining how many degrees of space a planet is moving and you're not going to observe it, the aspects during that space that you can't do that in one city. See, that's impossible. Right. But to, to know what is required of you can be explained in four C in, in four sittings. Right. So right. you actually what it's like is you get in you get in my class. You get in my academy. Right. And, and orientation to level one is what you get in, in this class. Definitely. And we'll have it set up for everybody that's in the orientation in this four weeks, uh, the four week class that we have, you'll be able to be onboarded into um, any further classes after that, you know, and we'll make, we'll, we'll make it very easy and beneficial for you. Um, you want to do this real quick while we have the family in the building, we real deep tonight. We want to do a few readings, you know what okay. I mean? Okay. I I'm going to do five people. All right. So and before this, man, I'm doing five people. I'm gonna give y'all two minutes apiece, man. You're not gonna do this to me. We, to I'm not. I, I made an agreement. Look, 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 man. I already, <laughs> I done created a policy for this type of shit, right? See, I'm welcome to do this shit on everybody's show, right? But I'll come to y'all niggas' lectures and do this shit out front, and let's see how many people sit in there and listen to y'all. Right, right. You, you. So <laughs> this is me. This is me showing off. Everybody that's in the audience, if you've never seen this brother demonstrate his powers.